It's all about a new battery pack. And I know some people might be saying, a new battery pack? A lot more energy and a lot more speed will be coming to Tesla Model S's and Model X if people opt for a 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's the announcement from Tesla. It will now start offering Model S and Model X performance versions only a 100 kilowatt hour battery. It's a bigger battery with more range, provides greater acceleration. What's the difference? What are the specifications? And how much will you have to pay? Let's talk first about the Model S because the change is uh, fairly significant. In fact, it's now going to have a range of greater than 300 miles. The range, 315 miles, it'll go zero to 60 in ludicrous mode in two and a half seconds. It previously went zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds. They've dropped it down to 2.5. The price, $134,500. That's where it starts at. If you've already ordered a Model S P90D and you now want the 100, you pay another 10 grand and they'll upgrade it for you. If you want to take in your old one and convert it, it'll be 20 grand. As for the Model X, the range increases to 289 miles. Zero to 60 now drops below three seconds at 2.9 seconds. And the price, $135,500. Guys, we should point out there were a couple of questions on the conference call just now with Elon Musk about things like autopilot and the ability for these batteries uh, with the vehicles and autopilot. He said, we're not talking about autopilot at all. And somebody else also asked, another reporter asked about what's happening with the Model 3, whether production has begun. Elon Musk said, this is all about the 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. No questions will be answered about the Model 3. So that's the news from, uh, from Tesla, Kelly. Certainly significant if you want a performance version of these vehicles. Shares coming back down to earth. A little bit, yeah. They are backing off a little bit, Phil. And I, you know, I wonder if one element of this announcement maybe points to an overriding concern, at least a background concern of Tesla investors, which is if you already own one, you can pay a fraction of a new car price to upgrade it to the latest. I mean, the installed base really doesn't lose that much value if that's going to be the way that Tesla introduces new features. And they've been doing that for some time. There are software upgrades that are going out to these vehicles on a regular basis. And if you talk with Tesla owners, they will talk about one of the features that they like is the ability to upgrade this vehicle without having to trade it in to buy the latest model that's out there. Now, clearly with a battery pack, you're going to have to make some changes uh, in terms of getting an, a new battery pack with greater capacity uh, installed. Uh, but that's part of the, the business plan that they have at Tesla, which is, you buy a vehicle, we can upgrade it over time. Phil, just a quick question. Did they talk about recharging this battery or just having access to the kinds of recharging equipment you'd need for it? I, I'm not sure exactly how all that works. You mean, will it take longer to, to recharge this compared to a, a P90D? Um, yeah. Some of the specifications are still coming out, Kelly. It's not going to be uh, demonstrably different. It, it'll be uh, perhaps a slight increase, but you're not looking at a radical departure from the 90 kilowatt hour battery pack or the 80 kilowatt hour battery pack, you are looking at more energy and more capability. And that's why they're saying, look, if you've already ordered uh, a P90D and you want a P100, add on another 10,000 and we'll, we'll make it for you. By the way, they expect the volume of uh, their production for these 100 kilowatt hour battery packs uh, in their vehicles, but 10 to 12% of their weekly auto production, about 200 cars. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.